healthy hair is a silky smooth hair with neatly cut ends without split ends or frizz so when the hair shaft is split longitudinally we call them as split ends hair has an outer layer which is called the cuticle and an inner layer which is called the cortex and uh, human hair uh, can have a, a core called the medulla now the cuticle is actually uh, porous and uh, absorb water and this can increase the uh, heaviness of the hair by 12 to 18 percent the inner structure which is the cuticle is the most important structure and these contain keratin and melanin pigments now these keratin cells are arranged longitudinally and they are bound to each other by sulfur bonds for which also contain cysteine residues why i am trying to mention these compounds is because you would have heard about keratin treatment cysteine treatment and many such so there, there is a specific reason why these uh, treatments are used and how uh, do they help so as i mentioned to you all there is an outer layer which is cuticle and there is an inner layer which is cortex this outer layer cuticle is hydrophobic which means when it is intact they do not there it is actually a lipid layer there is a lipid layer on top so it, they are water resistant but if this cuticle is they are uh, damaged the more the damage then the, the lipid layer is uh, devoid and then they become hydrophilic now while we talk about the anatomy you also have to know about the growth cycle of the, of the hair now we all know that hair grows in three cycles so there is a anagen phase of scalp hair can last anywhere between two to six years then there is a transition phase and then there is a resting phase called the telogen phase now in the telogen phase hair shaft is not attached to the root or the papilla so that is why when we shed hair while washing or when we comb we do not feel any pain why instead when we try and pull the hair that in, in, from our scalp we do experience pain because they are attached to the root which in turn is attached to the nerve endings so there is a sensation that is felt so in the resting uh, period the hair is as such they are not attached to the root now if these hair in the telogen phase either becomes heavy because of the cuticle getting damaged and uh, water making it more porous so I, as i mentioned earlier the hair can become 12 to 18 percent heavier so obviously heavy hair when it's not attached to the root is shed without any uh, pain or you don't feel it and that is what we call as telogen effluvium let's consider about various beauty parlor treatments straightening or perming so these process so normally the texture of the hair the mechanical property is altered during these uh, procedures so various chemicals are used to naturate these sulfur bonds and disintegrate them because of which the hair loses its natural texture and curly hair becomes straight or they're making the straight hair curl so various chemicals are used in the process now as these are continued are done repeatedly so you should also understand that hair normally grows at the length of one centimeter per month so for someone to have a 24 centimeter uh, long hair it takes about two years now in this two years someone would have washed their hair at least 700 times so what happens the hair that is distal is washed more often so the outer cuticle is damaged and when they are treated with these chemicals for straightening and perming repeatedly tend to get damaged that's why you see breakage of hair the split ends so what happens is as these sulfur uh, bonds between the keratin elements are disintegrated the hair can split longitudinally so when they split longitudinally they lose the tensile strength so you must understand that most of these beauty parlor treatments yes if they are done correctly and if they are done well with the best of the products they will not damage and they may not pose a problem but if the chemicals used are not the right ones or 
if the treatment is not done in the right manner then they will result in a condition called telogen effluvium when the wet hair when they comb and blow dry they basically removing the moisture that has gone inside so then it leads to breakage so these are the reason why all these polar treatments even though when done in the right manner using the right product can give you a lot of happiness enhances the beauty but it still can pose problem uh, if it's done in a by wrong way technique or by wrong products